Hey, Facebook. I haven't made a car video in a while, so I thought I'd make one for those who enjoy it as well as I do. Um, I don't really um, do these videos and play music on the uh, Facebook page and all of that. For other people, I do it for me because I it's what I like to do is what I enjoy doing. And um, you know, speak on that subject. Um, well, a lot of people talk against Facebook, saying that um, Facebook is a place where people exploit themselves, tell their business, and all of that, and that they don't be on Facebook for that reason. But a lot of them are still face, they have Facebook accounts, but they wanna uh, peek in and see what you're doing. Well, I just wanna let the peekers know you ain't gotta peek, because my life is exposed the way I intend for it to be exposed. And I don't try to hide anything to give people a certain impression of me um, because whatever you feel about me is your opinion and it's not going to change how I feel about myself. Um, God is the only person in this universe that I need to impress. God. Him alone. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, I just, I just like being happy and having fun in life. You know, I'm not trying to, um, I'm not trying to impress anybody or uh, anything like that. I'm just trying to live my life and be happy. And if posting stuff on Facebook and making videos and stuff makes me happy, then that's what I'm going to do. Um, anyhow, I'm on my way to work and um, got this jacket on again for a couple of days. We had um, some nice weather. Uh-oh, my job is calling. Let me see what they're talking about. Might have canceled me. Let's see. If they cancel me, I'm going out. Okay, actually, when my job called, they, um, they wanted to uh, ask me to work some days. I didn't want to work. And yeah, I was probably saying, there she goes, telling all her business. I don't care. That ain't no business to tell. I'm just talking in general. But anyway, um... You know, I just love people. I love interacting with people. You know, that's why I'm so happy because, you know, that's the, I think that's the whole purpose of life. You know, um, why would you want to live on this earth and, and not intermingle with people? And, you know, um, I don't know. It's, it's different things that people think about, like, um, you know, everybody don't have their best interest at hand and all that, but you can glean people. You know who to mess with and who not to mess with. I glean um, people all the time, you know, and if people play me a certain way or act a certain way with me that makes me feel uncomfortable, then I just um, distance myself from them. I still love them. You know, a lot of people have crossed me, and um, I... Um, don't hate them and um, don't wish them bad or anything. I just pray for them. Like, you know, that's an, a good example of that is, is what Jesus did. You know, they probably thought he was really, you know, foolish to say, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do when they, you know, tortured him like they did and, and killed him. You know, but the uh, bottom line is he was setting an example for us. You know, um, in life, um, you're either going to follow God or you're going to follow Satan. And um, he set the example that by enduring to the end and showing unconditional love, and that was unconditional love to the max for him to say, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. That's, that's true love. You know, people say they want to know what love is. And uh, some people say they, they know what love is. But if you want to know the real definition of love is God and what he did for us when he sent himself 
you know, um, if you got an open mind, a spiritual mind, you can understand that um, his son was actually him. And um, Mary was impregnated by the Holy Spirit. And it's not the same type of impregnation that we have, of course. The Spirit of God entered her body and um, manifested Jesus in her womb. Anyhow, um, I just try to, uh, I don't even have to try. I live uh, a godly life because the Spirit of God is in me. You know, of course I make mistakes because I'm human, you know, but for the most part, uh, when it comes to loving people and forgiving and um, being kind and being of service and things like that, that's just naturally in me and I'm not going to fight it. I'm not going to fight that trying to um, be uh, what other people think I ought to be or trying to protect myself. I don't have to protect myself. God is my protector. He's my shield and buckler. Um, <clears throat> Of course, he tells us, he tells us to, um, in Ephesians 6, 11, to arm myself with the whole armor of God, you know, the, the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the uh, uh, loins girded with the belt of truth, feet shot with the gospel of peace. And of course, I, I just, you know, learned this from a church that I used to attend, that we let the glory of the Lord be our rear guard. So we covered all the blood of Jesus also. We covered, we covered all over. If we accept that, if we believe it, you know, people always want to believe stuff about um, what scientists say and all this crap, uh, what they say on the news. They take that and, and run with it. Oh, that's the truth. That's the absolute truth. But why can't people take the word of God at the truth? He is truth. And he's our only hope. We have life right now. Yeah, if you're watching this and, 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 and um, well, whatever, if you're watching this and you're alive, you have life, right? You already know that people have uh, come here and, and died and, and um, you felt bad and wondered what the heck happened. You know, where did they go when they left here? What happens when you die and all of that? God explains all that to you, but you don't want to accept it. You want to... Uh, um, believe in um, what um, I don't say I, I shouldn't say you but some people want to believe in uh, what man says and what the scientists say uh, scientists talk about uh, creative design well creative design is God God is the creative design but they don't want to call him that because they want to be smarter than God and who else would want to be smarter than God but Satan Anyway, I didn't even mean to talk all to talk about all of this, but I guess um, that's what the Spirit wanted me to say on this video. Uh, I'm not trying to be a preacher or anything like that, but I am uh, being a witness, which is what I am called to do. We are all called to be witnesses. Once we become believers, then we have to witness to others in order to help them and then in to order to um, to um, Okay, the, the focus is salvation. That's what I'm trying to get at. We want to um, we want to focus on salvation. You know, um, we we're not doomed. You know, people. A lot of people think when they die, that's it. We're not doomed. We got hope in Jesus. And if you don't have hope in nothing else, why not have hope in Him? It ain't no other hope. You know, um, I for one believes that the Bible is true and I believe that God is truth and God is love because I have experienced it. it I have experienced it firsthand in my life. I have past experiences that I acknowledge God and give him the glory for bringing me up and out and through. And um, I, um, I just hope that uh, anyone that's watching this video and possibly doubting that um possibly doubting that uh god is real and that we have hope you know i, I hope that um this may have helped you if not at least i planted the seed it ain't my job to, to find out if it helped you or not because the holy spirit will water it and god will, will bless it to grow so 
seed has been planted. And uh, another thing, you know, um, I wanted to talk about is, um, you know, Christianity. You know, once you become a believer and uh, you uh, try to help others to have faith and be a believer that this is not it, that there's, there's life after death if, if you believe that uh, Jesus Christ is the Son of God and God sent him here to save us and that uh, he died and rose from the grave and got up with all power and victory in his hand. If you believe all of that, then you'll be, that's all you got to do to be saved. You know, um, I'm not going to say that you can still sin. Yeah, um, I, I still smoke. I still smoke, and I'm not trying to hide that from nobody. Um, I want a cigarette right now. Um, yeah, but uh, it's like they, they want to think, they want to feel like Christians. When you become a Christian, you become a belief. Oh, shoot. When you become a, you become a believer, that you got to be perfect. No, you're not going to be perfect. Jesus was the only one perfect. He's the only one that can... Uh, that can, uh, how can I say it? Uh, well, he crucified the flesh. He crucified the flesh before he was even crucified on, on the cross. You know, and that's what, you know, Christians aim to do. And, and they don't do it because uh, they got to prove that they can uh, be perfect or anything like that. Christians um, walk a certain way and give up certain things in life, like cigarettes and alcohol and drugs and all that. If they ever did drugs, or if they ever drank alcohol, if they ever smoked cigarettes, sin. Christians give it up out of love. It's, it's not because of uh, it's not because of uh, what we may receive from uh, giving it up or sacrificing these fleshly things, but we do it because of love. We do it because we love God. Yeah, I love God, and I'm still smoking, and. Uh, if I can, you know, have more uh, willpower, which is what he gave me, free gift, he gave me a, a willpower. Uh, if I can uh, submit to uh, to God will, by my will, then yeah, I'll give the cigarettes up, but that's a weakness for me right now. I like to smoke, and I don't think that God is gonna punish me or send me to hell because I am, uh, I haven't overcome that fleshly desire. No, I don't. I don't think that, that I'm going to be punished or, uh, or, uh, or neglected because of that. God is still with me. God is. It, it, people, people want to look at cigarettes and, and drinking and all of that, like uh, it's a condemnation. But there is therefore no condemnation for those. Who, that believe in, in God. You know, I, I don't have any more con condemnation because I believe. I believe that he came to save me from these sins. I believe that. And um, I have faith in that. I have hope in it. You know, um, anyway, I think y'all get what I'm talking about. I hope you do. But, um, that's why I'm always telling people not to judge me because you can't. Only God can judge me. Yeah, you can uh, give me advice or suggestions or whatever. You know, it's up to me to take them. And uh, one day I might give up smoking. I just might. But today, I won't smoke. And uh, it's okay. I can ask God to, uh, to help me, strengthen me to, to give up that part of my life. Um, there are other sins that um, people have that uh, condemn them as, as well. You know, like, like some, some Christians criticize Christians because they're doing things that, that they don't do no more. But they got some other stuff that they're doing. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody free of sin. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. You know, but that doesn't mean that we don't have any hope because we still sin. Jesus came to pay the price for that. Anyway, I'm just going to enjoy my music now. And betting clean up. I don't know who really burnt things. I love you guys. And I love y'all too. Yeah, I 
I'm giving y'all the bite of the sweetest pie by, by sharing the word of God with y'all. It's up to you if you want to eat it or not. It's good stuff. Better than any food that feeds the flesh, fed the spirit. That's what I just did. I fed my spirit and yours. Because I'm, I'm not any better than anybody else and ain't nobody no better than me. Work out your own soul salvation with fear and trembling. This That's what I'm doing. Did the iPhone 13 on some good music. Yeah, I got some things on my chest and I just got it off. <laughs> oh, have a good day, y'all.